Hey guys, John here. Today we're going to be making Hollow Man's lead in Poison, and it sounds like this. Alright, if you like the patch, give the video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. So let's dive into this patch and see how it was created. So on the top here, we have Unison 4, Polyphony 16, the Unison Detune at 9%, and the panning is at 50%, because I didn't want this patch to be too wide. It's more so a lead, because I kind of wanted a little bit more narrowed and kind of in the center. We're going to be using Goliath Time on Static at 26%. The Transposition is up 1 octave, so 12 semitones, and the Gain and Microtune have been untouched. We can skip over MIDI, and the next thing we need to talk about is the LFO. So this pulse width A right here is going to be amount at 100%, and this is going to be tempo synced at 1 over 4 on the triangle setting, and retrigger is going to be off. The envelope we can skip over here as we're not doing anything here at 0%, so we can skip over this. However, on the amplifier, we're just adding a little bit release at 229 milliseconds. And for the oscillators, we're going to be using both A and B. As you can see on the balance section, this is going to be up and down to 50%, so 50% 50, 50 oscillator A and 50% oscillator B. The difference of the two is the first one is going to be this pulse width here, and this light is going to be on, it's going to be all the way at 100%. Ring and sync are going to be off, and now on oscillator B, the pulse width is going to be 100%, but hey, it's off, so it doesn't really matter. On the pitch, it's going to be up seven semitones, so a perfect fifth, and the detune is at zero. For the filter, we're going to have a cutoff at 55%, the resonance at 11, keyboard tracking 23, velocity tracking at 0, and it's going to be on a low pass. The arpeggiator is going to be off, so we can skip over this as well, but we are going to be using delay and chorus. So for the delay, it's going to be on, the left is going to be 2 over 4, the right 4 over 4 kind of gives you a little interesting left and right offset of the delays, which is, kind of results in a really cool sound. The feedback at 50%, and depth 30%, the low cut 0, the high cut at 70, and the wet at 50. Next up, our chorus is going to be on, depth at 50%, rate at 2.6, and the wet at 41%. And we are also going to be using the transcate as well, wet 95%, and the smooth at 49, because we don't want it so on and off, kind of increase that smoothness, you know, smooth that out a little bit, kind of like peanut butter or something like that. Kind of sounds like Bob O'Reilly a little bit, now that I think about this. And for the pattern, it's on, off, on, off, on, off, on, off for both sides. Let's look into the channel strip and see what we've done externally. So we have an EQ here, and it's always wise to kind of add external EQ, I feel, especially with, with Poison, because there's not really a built-in EQ and creating different types of sounds. There may, might be some stuff that you want to accentuate or take away. So for this patch, I kind of brought up 3.2K and about 6.4K to kind of get the little highs a little bit more present there. And of course, sending to our lovely Valhalla Reverb here at about half right here, and that's pretty much how this patch was created. If you'd like to get it for free, check in the video description below for the link, and let's play this out with Hollow Man's lead that's kind of like Baba O'Reilly, or Bubba O'Reilly, something like that. Yeah, here it is. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one. I had to let the delays run out.